let's see how to add new buttons to our synoptics. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start editing the synoptic with the Qt designer. So I already have open here, but I'm just gonna reopen for you. So you see where I'm pulling this information. Um, just gonna take my um, uh, yeah here. Oops. So here on my custom synoptic uh, folder, I have my biped sample. And we have the um, this UI, UI and UI color. So the only difference between the, the UI and UI, UI color is that the um, this one have the alpha on the on the buttons, and this one doesn't. Um, we need the alpha because if we we think the the button is something like square like this, uh, we have the corners when it renders that are round. So these little areas here. Is to be crop. To be crop this thing on the shape, we need to put the the alpha to to zero. So it's gonna add this transparency. So when it renders, it, it renders nicer round round corners on the buttons, or something like that. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, for the example, I'm just gonna add a simple button here. So I'm just gonna close this, and I'm gonna work with the uh, color one because it's the one that uh, it's easier to see what we are doing. And the other one we're gonna convert later to transparent and keep both, so we can edit easily later. So here on the right side, on the um, on the property editor, we're gonna check for this button, and we have two options that we need to to track. Uh, basically, the object name, it's just to keep everything clean, and the um, dynamic property, the object. This is the one that is going to be searched on the uh, Maya scene to um, to select. So I'm, I'm just going to duplicate. You can do uh, Control B, Control, uh, Control C, Control B to copy paste, but also you can Control and click and drag. So you're going to um, you're gonna duplicate what you have selected. You can have multiple selections to add. It's also with control, but not dragging, just clicking. So you can duplicate many at the same time. So here I have now this, it's control, and this is, you see, it's control two. So I'm just gonna edit this one here. That is important. So just one, we can obviously put uh, as many names as we want uh, by, um, adding comma separated things. So if I add another name here now, we can uh, select multiple objects at the same time. This is the same way I'm doing this. For, in for instance, this yellow one here, you can see there is comma separated. So this is gonna be multiple selections. And if you put only one, it's gonna be only one. Uh, for the comma separated, don't add space. It's just a comma. Okay, so that's it. So I'm just gonna save and we need to compile this on um, on Maya. So before compiling, I want to show you something. Uh, if, um, okay, I think I did uh, previously compile here. Just one second. Just gonna try to close everything and show you the original one. So this is um, scripts, mgear, Maya, synoptic, tabs, pipet. And this is the compiled version, the original. So I'm just gonna open this with Sublime Text. So you can see here that the the default one that comes with uh, MGear um, original version, let's say, they have this uh, like license information and copyright and everything. And we have some custom imports here. And if we check at the end, whoop, that's quite long. We also have this uh, fake translate function here. So this is because uh, depending on the Maya version, you will um, you will have different uh, PySite or PyQt installation, and they are not compatible as is. So you need to add some tweaks there and there to make um, that the same file works in every single Maya version. But if you know by by fact that you're gonna use only one Maya version, just don't care. Just compile using your Maya version and everything will, will work. So we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna close again this thing. We're gonna use the custom synoptic and go to Maya and we use the mgear utilities compile PyQt UI. So I'm just gonna go desktop, um, 
custom synoptic pipet and yeah almost forget yeah uh, I was about to compile the color but you need to compile the the widget UI so in order to do this uh, we want to make everything transparent for the reason I commented before so I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna remove using control the parts that I don't want to make uh, transparent are the buttons and the image in the background so now that everything is um, um, selected all the, the pickers I'm just gonna go here on the cool widget section and palette I'm just gonna click here change palette click in the main color and set this to zero so now everything is transparent or at least all the parts that we want to make transparent but don't save, don't save the color UI just save as and override the widget UI so we can have both versions and if we need to edit again it's easier because now with without the color it's quite difficult you barely see the lines but it's not very very useful okay now we are ready to compile so now I'm just gonna compile the widget UI compile and after compile um, it may work if you open straight the synoptic but it's recommended to restart Maya so I'm just gonna restart it uh, this is one of the ver the things that um, sometimes get stuck in memory and even if I, re I reload using the uh, reload command from uh, mgear or if for uh, reloading using the python reload it's not quite working and yeah just to avoid uh, an issue just restart Maya fresh so you ensure that your uh, Maya version it's gonna it's gonna load properly. So I'm just uh, ready there. So I'm just gonna import again my biped, and obviously we need to sh be sure that here we don't use the old biped synoptic, but instead the biped sample that is the one that we just edit. And of course we have add a new button, so we want to add this new control with this corresponds with the same name okay so that's all just building now it's gonna take a few seconds and that should be should be all just uh, you can copy paste your buttons rename to the new um, name of the controls you want to use or you added there and um, just remember that you can use a comma separated so you can use uh, one button to select many many objects so I'm just gonna synoptic and we have the button there that selects you can see here or new or new control so that's all for how to edit the synoptic uh, picker buttons and see you in the next video bye bye